Hello friends, hope you're all doing great. My name is Lee and in today's video we're going to go over probably the best method for farming money in the post game of Pokemon Legends Arceus. So like I mentioned in the intro, this is a post game only method. Uh, if you're th going through your playthrough yet, if you haven't seen the end credits and beat the final boss in your main storyline, then you're not going to be able to access this method. There is another money farming method that you can access though through your playthrough. I have done it and covered it on the channel already and you can, you can check it out i'll link it up in the top this this right hand corner here if you want to check that out and you're not quite at the end of the story yet so for those of you that are let's not dish about let's get straight into the game so you want to be starting in jubilee village and this is going to be taking advantage of the misfortune trio so the bandit trio that you kind of encounter through your playthroughs uh, that you have to it's kind of like the team rocket of legends arceus but there's only three of them um you're going to be taking advantage of them they spawn around the different areas in the Husui region uh, after you finish the main game and you can encounter them uh, and battle them and when you do defeat them in battle they will drop nuggets and this is the way for farming money because you can rinse and repeat this process battle them over and over and over again and just gain nuggets every time you defeat them now each nugget is going to be worth 10,000 poker dollars and they drop between four and five nuggets at a time the three sisters consist of banded clover who's always going to have a single pokemon to defeat which is always going to be a and a bomber snow you're going to have the banded coin which is again only going to have one pokemon and that is going to be toxicroak and then you're going to have a bandit charm who will have a pokemon two pokemon this time a Rhydon and a gengar now these pokemon are going to be leveled up as you get deeper into the game the more times you battle them their levels will increase and i think they cap out at around level 61 is the maximum that they will cap out at but they will always give you every time you beat them between four to five nuggets now the area that we're going to target for this guide is going to be uh, obsidian field land so what you want to do is just head from jubilee village don't go to the field lands camp just come to the heights camp so you want to come into this area here this will just save you a process because the route that we're going to be taking which is the quickest to check if they are in this area to be able to battle them is from the heights camp so when you're here um, just get your maps up in your games i've marked out three stars with where the locations of these banded sisters will spawn in this area so you can check these out mark them on your own maps if you want be really helpful but the first thing that you want to do is check for the first sister and it's going to be going down the route where you first came uh, you want to hop on bravery you can go on weird deer or you can just walk down this area but it's quicker to easier to check if they're there with with braviary so you want to come to this area here first this is where normally the first bandit will be located you'll be able to see pretty easily if the bandit sister is here either going to be under the rock area over there or just to the right of us on this ridge and you can see here this is exactly where the first bandit sister will be unfortunately no bandit sister here in this occasion and you'll be able to see kind of speech bubbles as well if you kind of fly over them uh, that and it helps just to kind of locate and indicate that they are in this area now the second banded sister will be in this location right here i'll just pull up the map and you can see we're just over the star here and again just to the left or sometimes to the right as well the second banded sister but just keep an eye out for um the the speech bubbles because they can be around this area and they're actually there we go so there's a bandit sister here so one of two locations is just above where we were and this is another one uh, where they can spawn as well so they can be further up this way just in this area here on this ridge or the other area in this location for the second bandit sister will be in this location which we've got right here and you want to just drop down and as soon as you get near them you'll be able to initiate the battle with them like i said i've already mentioned that the pokemon that they're going to have charm is this one so we're expecting a ride on and a Gengar. now you're going to want a strong pokemon to be able to kind of cycle through these uh, trainers because obviously like they cap out at level 61 the best pokemon in my opinion to use for this method is going to be going to the alabaster icelands and getting yourself an alpha garchomp it's going to have access to earth power which hits pretty much all of these pokemon for super effective damage it's going to be a catchable level where it's going to be able to be strong enough to beat these pokemon and one shot them pretty easily and take the attacks back if they manage to get attacks off now charm's normally the only one where the pokemon is going to be able to get an attack off before you can kind of 
and knock it out. So this is the longest battle uh, that you're going to come across. The other two are fine. And the other thing about get, uh, Garchomp is it gets access to Fire Fang, which gives you the kind of stab attack to deal with the uh, Abomasnow Snow uh, that can be sometimes out of all of the Pokemon a little bit problematic. But because you're going to catch it at level 85 in the Alabasta Icelands, you're going to be able to have access to a Pokemon that's going to be able to instantly rinse through all of these um, these trainers pretty easily. Now the cutscenes do take a little bit of time. I think probably the most time consuming thing of this whole method, but when you beat them, uh, they'll do their normal disappearing act and then they will drop an item, uh, a number of items. It'll be between four to five nuggets. So if you uh, see here, drop something and it is four nuggets. So there we go. So that's the second sister location here. You can see I've got it marked on the map right here. Like I say, they can appear just further up that ridge on the top there but they can appear in this location as well now for the third sister location the bandit you're going to head down this track again just follow this down all the way to the end and you want to kind of come down to um kitchen's pantry i think that's what it is and the third sister is normally in and around this location here either up on the ridge there or down in this grass right here and this is where they are normally but this occasion no sisters here so we've just got one in this run so what we want to do now is just head back to jubilife village speak to the professor and then come back into this area and then you just rinse and repeat this process and um, we want to be going straight down this route here and check where that first sister is and then hopefully she will be in this area like I say, you'll be able to spot them pretty easily if they are here. And you can see there she is right there up on this ridge here. So we've got the first sister here. We want to just drop down and then we can initiate this battle. And normally this sister is the one with the Toxicroc. So as you see, we can kind of come in, interact with her and it's a quick and easy battle. As you can see, having something like Garchomp that we've already talked about makes this so easy. It's like a one shot, battle's decided, it's over. The longest part are gonna be the cutscenes here where they kind of complain about losing. And then obviously you have this, the XP gain. And also you're going to then have them dropping the item. Like I say, I think the cutscenes are probably the longest part of this whole process of them disappearing and then you kind of seeing that they've dropped something on the ground before you're able to collect the four to five nuggets that they are going to drop four nuggets again and again you know it's still worth checking the other locations like i've said you can get multiples of the sisters in these locations so it's always worth just checking the areas before you move on and is that an alpha geodude alpha geodude just ignore that for now because we're not after alphas at this minute in time we want to just come to this area here like where we were before and no sister here as you can see that this beach bubbles popping up is a good indicator especially when you're flying and then we want to just make our way down to this third area as you can see there's a the third sister there you can see there with the speech bubble that kind of pops up that we've got the third sister again in this location and then that is the, the process start again so this is basically all you want to do in obsidian fearlands now they do appear around other regions in the sui region so you can do this method in the other areas like the crimson Mirrorlands, the alabaster icelands the um, coronet highlands you can do them all around those areas but um, this is probably the most direct route from a campsite and it's probably the quickest way to do it. Just gone backwards and forwards between Jubilife and here, uh, just beating the sisters and then kind of just over a period of time, you're gonna get so many nuggets where you're gonna be able to kind of just really farm and farm and farm and um, not have to worry about really crafting items in game for one because if you're going out shiny hunting if you're going out alpha hunting you're gonna need sticky globes you're gonna need um, smoke balls you're gonna need poker balls right and to get those things you're gonna need to have like items uh, that you're gonna have to go out and, and gather around the region um, but if you've got enough money you don't need to worry about that because you can just craft your items and you can just make them um, and use your your money that way so if we come here i'm just going to show you we've done it for a little while if we just go to the shop here you can come back to jubilife if you want but if we go to our bag and we just find our nuggets we've done that for what maybe like 10 not even 10 minutes right um and we've got 20 nuggets and if we go there you can see 200 grand in like 20 minutes so if you kind of multiply that obviously 
by four, you're gonna have 800 grand in about an hour. So it's an incredibly good method. And we've come here in that time and there's been no sisters at times when we've come to do this. So you're gonna be able to use this method, like I say, to utilize getting all of your other items that are gonna be really useful, like your smoke bombs, your cakes, um, your stealth spray, your your sticky globs and, and your pokeballs and make sure that you're never running low on anything. And it's just a little bit of time commitment to make sure that you can do these other things. We don't really have to worry about farming and other stuff because you can buy all the materials other than probably uh, spoiled apricots. So you probably want to use the farm for those. Uh, but other than that, you're going to be golden to go. So friends, I hope you found this guide useful. Thank you so much for tuning in to this video and supporting it. If you have found this method useful and it has helped you out, please drop a like on the video. Do consider subscribing to the channel for more content like this and um, I hope it has been useful. Good luck farming money, getting rich really quickly and beating these bandits. Like I say, the Alpha Garchomp is the one to go after and uh, that is gonna make life a lot easier for you. And do check out the other guides for how to get those. I'll link them up in the top hand right hand corner for you and we'll leave it there. Thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you all for another video very soon. So until then, take care, bye bye.